This is Cindy G, and in this video, we're assembling the cauldron box card. So as you can see, I have my pieces laid out. And so we've got um, two pieces that have different size tabs on each side. This is your front and your back of the box. These two pieces with the same size tabs are your inserts. So we'll set those up there. So I want to point out here with the back of the cauldron that you need to make sure that you're gluing, um, I don't know what this would be, your ooze, to the inside of the box card, okay? Because you want it showing from the front. If you were to put it here, that would be on the back and this inside would be your card layers. You would not have your, your um, ooze on the inside. So do make sure that you're gluing this on the correct side, okay? And the way it's gonna go together is this long side it's going to glue to the short side, okay? So that's how you know where the inside will be. So this is your inside, and that's where I'm going to glue this first piece. I'm going to go ahead and glue this here to the inside. And then I'm going to flip it over. And I'm, I've already put these two pieces together, my two circles. This is for your sentiment or just signing. You can stamp on it, um, whatever you want to, whatever message you want to add. I'm going to put that right here on the back. Okay. So that'll help me keep it sorted for me, which piece is which. And then I'm going to attach these two pieces together just on one side to start. I'm going to make sure that I line this up, take my time, line this up well, so that my card stands steady. <clears throat> and these pieces for the front, I'm not going to put on first, but I am going to mention real quick that you have to put your pot on first if you're going to use that to round your edges and then you will put your ooze on. Otherwise, your pot will cover your ooze, okay? So you have to make sure that you, whenever you put this piece on, that you're putting it on first, okay? But I'm, I want to do it after I put my um, inserts together. So we'll pull these down. And this one, we have an eyeball with three circles. I've already put those together. And you can do them in, you can do this in front or behind the bubbling ooze. I'm going to put my eyeball on first so that it's a little bit behind everything that's bubbling here in the pot. Okay. So that's pretty quick. Fold your tabs and set that aside. Now for this one, I am going to put my bones on top so that I can see them. And because this layer is the second layer behind, it's going to look like it's behind this anyway. So I am going to put these on top.
Okay. So there we go. This is going to line up like this. So it just looks like we have a bunch of stuff cooking. <laughs> now I'm going to bring in my cauldron, the front and the back. And I have my side here. I'm going to take my back piece and with my tabs flat, I'm going to lay this down inside my card and I'm pushing this tab right into the fold for the side and I'm going to glue it right in place. Okay, so I'm going to add some glue here. And I'm just pushing this right into that corner. And then you will see when I lift this up, it is attached and it's perfectly lined up where it needs to be. Okay, now we're going to use the same practice here with the next layer, but I'm going to lay the tab out. We want it out flat. I'm going to lay it right on top of the layer behind it. And then I'm going to be gluing it right here. Okay. I really like this method of putting box cards together. It keeps everything perfectly lined up. I stand it up on the table so that I know everything's flush. And I'm going to apply pressure right here where the tab is. And you'll see when I lift it that, yes, you see these are just perfectly spaced. Okay. Then I'm going to lay this side flat down on my table. I'm going to take this tab, this side here, which I haven't folded. Let me fold that. And I'm going to glue it to these tabs on this side. I'm going to do that by applying glue here to these two tabs. Don't use too much. You don't want it to seep over the edges and glue your, your sides together. I'm just making it flush there with those sides. Okay, make sure that it can fold both ways. And then we're going to take this tab and we're going to glue it. We're going to tuck it right under this Whoops. and glue the card together. Now we've got our box card and we can add the front. <coughs> so the first thing I'm going to do is add my pot. And I want to look at it for a minute. I want to see I think I'm going to put the foam tape on my ooze. And for this, I'm not going to take my glue all the way to the edge because um, I have a straight edge there and I don't want my glue to mess up the edge of my card. And you just, you're going to line it up here to these and line it up around the bottom. I'm sorry if my head is getting in there in the way. There we go. Now I did take uh, white ink and I inked around the edges because because of all the black, I wanted the pot to really kind of stand out a little bit. So I'm just going to apply some foam squares. 
Got to make sure that they don't hang over. Okay. And then we're just going to line these right up. And there it is. There is the cauldron box card. Thank you so much for joining me.